See, here's the thing that you can't replace. There's four different levels of value, right? We as a society have chosen, we've made the decision as a society. These are the things we want to pay top dollar for as far as employment goes. These are the things we need to pay entry level or administrative wages for. Some of the things we pay administrative or entry level wages for, answering the phone, filing paperwork, uh, sitting on hold with insurance companies, um, uh, uploading documents. These are things we, we, don't, we don't pay as much money for. And then we pay a little bit more money for our managers, our people that communicate and lead those team members. They've got to have the skill set of being able to train, lead, develop, grow, groom, give feedback, those types of things. So we pay them a little bit more. And then we pay people who can communicate, our marketer teams, our salespeople, those types of things in society. We just happen to pay them a little bit more. The people that perform at higher levels, the doctors, just like yourself, you make a little bit more money for doing so. But then what we pay the most money, the highest amount of value, is the dreamers, the visionaries. Think Walt Disney. These are the people, Sam Walton's of the world. These are the people that make all of the money. And why is that? Because they provide the leadership. They provide the foundation that sets clear targets so that we can identify what those numbers are so that we can hire the right person to fulfill that for our mission as an organization. So if you want to shape your culture, it starts with setting the proper goals. It starts with having a good, clear vision. It starts with knowing the systems that are in your business and being able to, to help make sure that those systems are running smooth and that they're developing properly. Look, business is a system of systems that produce an outcome, right? Right or wrong? It's a system of systems that produces an outcome. And so a, part A has to go to part B. And if you can't identify part A to part B, it's going to be real hard to train anybody. So building a good company culture starts around having that vision and that leadership uh, and having those systems in place. The next is setting clear targets. So how do we set clear targets? How do we identify what we are trying to achieve within our organization? Well, those are our areas of deficit. Those are our deficiencies. What are the things in our organization where we feel the ball is getting dropped? Peter Drucker says, what gets measured gets managed. And so we want to make sure that we put the proper resources in place to have clear targets, measurement tools in place to have those clear targets. Just like Impact PT, they know every single day how many insurance claims that the VA is filing for them. It's so important because maybe those things weren't happening before. Here's the next thing. When we set those clear targets, now we can know our numbers and our managers can manage. Our leaders can lead. And then when all of that's said and done, then we can hire correctly. So what 